like they asked Boris Yeltsin one time about the Russian economy. They said in one word, describe the Russian economy. He said, good. He said, how about in two words? Not good. <laughs> the planets need to align to get anything done in Washington. You need to have the president, along with the Senate, along with the House, and public opinion, and sometimes current events, to line up for these things to happen. If that doesn't happen, all bets are off. He said that we would reach 10,000 by 2,000, which we did, and then he gave another number for 2,100. Does anybody know what that number is? One million by 2,100. How many stocks are on the Wilshire 5,000? It's actually about 3,600. There aren't even 5,000 stocks on the Wilshire 5,000 anymore. At one point, there were over 7,400 stocks on the Wilshire 5,000. So when people don't feel like we've had a bull market, there's a reason for that. But I also feel that that means we've got more room to go when things get in place. Do you invest in the market? Millennials don't, right? 65%. But if you look at older millennials, yes, they are. So everybody says, oh, yeah, Trump's an outsider. But to what? If you think about it, he's an outsider to what Jimmy Carter described, we've become now an oligarchy instead of a democracy. PATCO went on strike. 11,000 air traffic controllers lost their jobs because Reagan actually fired them. And it sent a message to the unions, if you strike, you could lose your job. Now, I think something we're seeing again, building a wall, I think it's a psychological message. America first. I want to put this in perspective. I have a friend that pointed out that he and I were the time person of the year in 2006. Now, that may surprise you, but all of you were. In 2006, time picked you. Everybody, yes, you, you control the information age. Welcome to your world. Now, my friend works in television, and he says he puts on his resume that he was a 2006 time person of the year. <laughs> And nobody's ever asked them about it. <laughs> so this is going to become a push and pull. This is going to be the press covering Trump. <laughs> and I, I think he'll probably try to distract them. <laughs> Reagan didn't even have Republicans. But this was a case where everything lined up. And everybody said, our taxes are crazy. Are they crazy now at around 40%? This is Laffer's curve. It's actually, he draws it sideways, but you can't argue with the concept. The concept is you can raise tax rates and you will get more revenue until a certain point at which it becomes so bad for business that you don't get more revenue. Oh, he says, Bob, sit down. Let me talk to you about taxes. He said, if you have farmer A and you have farmer B and you give something to farmer A, who pays for it? Farmer B. I interviewed Jeff Bezos, this was in 2001, asked him, when are you going to show a profit? The pro forma, what is it going to not include or include to get you to that positive number in the fourth quarter? Well, they showed a profit that year. And today it's the word, world's largest e-commerce company. Typically technology does work and does create new jobs. Did you ever wonder why everything had to get smaller with computers? Who cares? You could put them in a capsule. You could put them on the shuttle. You could get more power on those spacecraft. But the effort is to make the failures that exist quick. They want you to fail with $10,000, not $10 million. He said he should have made 25 times his money. But he didn't do his homework. He didn't call the local stores to see how sales were going. He didn't check out the publicly available information and so he got out too early. And he told me, he said, Bob, it's hard to find a winner. And if you get out of it too soon, it's a big mistake. And by 2050, you're up to 100,000. And if you take, again, 5% per year, you actually get to 1 million in 2098. So how do we get there? In the late 90s, when the iMac came out, it came out with a disc tray. He didn't like it. He wanted the disc slot so you could put the disc in it. 
the problem was the disc tray was farther along the technology associated with burning CDs. And what were people burning then? They were burning music. They had to figure out a way to put the power on the computer, not in the disc. They came up with iTunes. Uh, Nevada wasn't working out. They moved it over to Utah. <laughs> now this is just... <laughs> now... Obviously, this is nothing against this gentleman, because I'm on TV every day, and this could happen to me. And what is she thinking? I think we got him. She pulled the chair and made me fall. I said, I'm sure she didn't mean to do that. Yes, she did. I said, well, get up here. We're going to eat dinner. I said, not until she apologizes. I said, I don't think I'd like an old tomato like that. Don't call me an old tomato. I'm not an old tomato. <laughs> And then he got good at managing debt because right. he learned how to manage risk. Amazing. Uh, Ford's best business mistakes, uh, Bob Sullivan, a great anchor, a very good writer, and this is getting a lot of buzz. Thank you, Bob. Good seeing yeah. you.